I'm about to tell you everything you need to know about locations in Locarno. Let's go! Locations are a new card type introduced as part of Locarno's Into the Inklands expansion. We'll cover exactly how they work in this video, based on information provided by the Locarno developers via Discord. Let's start by taking a look at a location card, going through each of the elements. As with character cards, locations have a cost to play, here in the top corner. Like characters, locations can be inkable and uninkable, but unlike character cards, locations aren't readied or exerted. Instead, they end to play horizontally. Locations ink does not need to dry, and they can be interacted with on the same turn that they are played. Locations have their own willpower, but they do not have strength, and they themselves cannot challenge, though opponents' characters may challenge locations. The number here represents the travel cost to move a character to this location. In this example of Motunui Island Paradise, it costs 1 ink for a character to travel here. Locations may also have a special law value indicated here. Locations with a law value passively award the given law at the start of your turn during the set phase and do not require a character to be there to give law. You do not gain law the turn you play a location, and some locations may not give law at all. Some locations may also have abilities, providing benefits to characters there. Characters may also have their own abilities that interact with locations. Peter Pan, Lost Boy Leader, once per turn gains law equal to a location's law when he has moved there. Other characters like Minnie Mouse Funky Spelunker has an ability that only activates when at a location. Characters can only ever be at one location at a time. Characters can however move between locations freely during a turn as long as you're able to pay the ink cost to do so. And a character's ink does not need to be dry in order to move them to a location. You can play and move a character in the same turn. A character doesn't need to be ready to be moved to a location. You can even move exerted characters there. There are no limits to the amount of characters that can be placed at a location, but characters can only be placed at your own locations. Characters at a location can still do everything they would normally, whether it's questing, challenging, singing, or even moving to a different location. Characters placed at a location can still be challenged as usual, unless the location prevents it. Characters cannot leave a location other than to move to another location, and characters may not move to the location they're currently at without first moving to a different location. Locations can be challenged as with any other characters. Characters with Reckless must challenge a location if able, bodyguards do not protect locations. Actions and songs dealing damage must specify that damage can be done to a location. Grab Your Sword would not deal damage to a location, as it specifies characters, while Then Along Came Zeus would. Similarly, only damage removing actions or items that mention locations can remove damage from them. When a location is banished, any characters there fall out of the location. There is no penalty to these characters, and these characters are not banished along with the location. And that's all you need to know about locations in Locarno. I hope you're as excited as we are to try them out. Let us know down in the comments.